finally on the program. Every year, the Chike Okoli Foundation organizes a Heart and Soul Gala in memory of Chike Okoli, recognizing the spirit of entrepreneurship which is stood for before his death in 2005. This year was indifferent. Personalities grace the 13th edition of the event. Take a City Hall, in the heart of Lagos, stood ready to receive August visitors, including the chief host and other very important guests. The evening's setting may appear a bit informal, owing to the decor, the lightings, table setup, and all that. You may not be wrong, but the gathering is also as businesslike as it could possibly be. For the 13th year in a row, the essence of this gathering has remained focused and undeterred. Former Minister of Commerce and Industry, Chief Mrs. Onike Kwakonde, and the Chairman of the occasion emphasized it's the celebration and remembrance of the life of a young man, Chike Okoli, who was caught in his prime at a young age of 25 due to an undetected coronary artery disease. But while he lived, he made a strong impact. I feel honored to be standing before you today to celebrate the spirit of entrepreneurship and a foundation whose vision is to give hope and purpose to the youth of our nation. Chike's life essence has been immortalized through the Chike Okoli Foundation that is in a hurry to reach as many as possible, especially the youth on the dangers of cardiovascular disease and the available preventive and treatment measures. In the same vein, it also seeks to promote and inculcate entrepreneurial skills in young people. Chike was an entrepreneur and business owner. Dr. Mrs. Stella Chingyelu Okoli is the chairman board of directors Chike Okoli Foundation. Youth are very important in every nation, more so in our nation. And we are happy that since the inception, we have been at no other place but to lift our youth and our nation out of poverty, sickness, creating a new, wealthy and healthy people. A 500 million Naira Chike Okoli Center for Entrepreneurial Skills Acquisition is currently domiciled at the Namdi Azikowe University, Oka, and it's all geared towards reaching out to more young citizens. So far, 11 million has been reached. Professor Charles Okechuku Esimone is the Vice Chancellor of the University. At Nam Daziko University, as you heard, we have every year, and as we count this year, but this year, we're looking for space to accommodate the teaming youths who come to our center, you know, to receive different kinds of uh, techniques, different kinds of trainings, 
in the area of entrepreneurship that so many and by the time they spend three weeks four weeks five weeks six weeks they're so sharpened and they go out and they're so happy their testimonies are very very glaring a member of the board of directors of the Chike Okoli Foundation, Chief Mrs. Taiwo Taiwo, said Nigeria is a great nation, a good people with a large population of youth. When asked about the holistic picture, the Chike Okoli Foundation board tells you it all comes down to love. What a wonderful legacy. What an amazing achievement. But we haven't stopped and we will not stop. And so there I am, here again, asking you, pleading with you to, to support this incredible work that we do. The wife of the governor of Lagos State, Mrs. Ibija Kesonwolu, who was a special guest at the occasion, said it all comes down to inculcating the spirit of entrepreneurship in the younger generation and being at the heart of the youth enterprise. Is, it is apt and timely considering the fact that conscientious effort must be geared towards putting issues relating to youth empowerment and entrepreneurship to the front burner of national issues. We are all well acquainted with the popular phase that health is wealth. And so it goes without saying that only healthy population can be enterprising in the real sense of it. Then there was the cutting of the anniversary cake. The Chike Okoli Foundation is a non-profit organization established in May 2006 in memory of Chike Edward Okoli, who passed away due to an undetected coronary artery disease shortly after his 25th birthday anniversary. The gala holds every year as a central point to the foundation's activities. Well, what a great legacy he's left behind. We pray his gentle soul continues to rest in peace. Thank you so much for watching today's edition of Metrofile. Please visit youtube.com forward slash channels web. This is to view our videos or any videos you missed. Tweet at us using those handles right on your screen and call us with that number blinking there to get details about Metrofile. Let me remind you as always, Metrofile airs every Friday at 11 p.m. and that gets repeated on Saturday at noon. A fresh edition airs on Sunday at 9.30 a.m. and you get a repeat of that on Wednesday by 11 p.m. So you don't have any reason at all to miss any edition this week. Thank you so much for watching. See you again very soon. I am Anne Waldo. Have a fabulous weekend.